What's up guys and welcome back to Meridian Journey. Hope we're all doing absolutely fantastic and today, as usual, we're gonna continue and I'll read to you two more meditations out of the great book that I'm currently reading to you on a daily basis, the Daily Stoic. So let's get started with the first meditation. The cards were dealt. Think of the life you have lived until now as over and as a dead man see what what's left as a bonus to live in accordance to nature love that love the hand that fate deals you and paid as your own what could be more fitting mark says meditations we have an irrational fear of acknowledging our own mortality we avoid thinking about it because we think it will be depressing. In fact, reflecting on mortality often has the opposite effect, invigorating us more than saddening us. Why? Because it gives us clarity. If you were suddenly told you have, you had but a week to live, what changes would you make? If you died but were resus, resus resuscitated, how different would your perspective be? When, as Shakespeare pers Perspera puts it, every third thought shall be my grave. There is no risk of getting caught up in petty matters of distractions. Instead of denying our fear of death, let's let it make us the best people we can be today. Don't hide from your feelings. It is better to conquer grief than to deceive it. Seneca on consolation, consolation to help you. We've lost, we've all lost people. We were close to a friend, a colleague, a parent, a grandparent. While we were suffering from our grief, so some well-meaning person did their best to take our mind off it or make us think about something else for a couple hours. However kind these gestures are misguided. The Stoics are stereotyped as supp suppressing their emotions, but their philosophy was actually intended to teach us to face, process, and deal with emotions immediately instead of running from them. Tempting as it is to deceive yourself or hide from a powerful emotion like grief, by telling yourself and other people that you're you're fine, awareness and and awareness and understanding are better. Distraction might be pleasant in the short term by going to gladiator, gladiator games, as Roman might have done, for example. Focusing is better in the long term. That means facing it now, process and and parse what you're feeling, remove your expectations, your entitlements, your sense of having been wrong. Find the positive in the situation, but also sit with your pain and accept it, remembering that it is a part of life. That's how one concurs grief. All right, guys. So the reading session is over for today, but anyway, we're gonna continue tomorrow and I will read to you more meditations so thank you for joining me today in this video i'm gonna see you tomorrow in the next one bye